hey guys and welcome back to my channel i know i'm sorry i haven't posted in like i don't know probably a month or two maybe three and i'm sorry guys my mental just hasn't been all the way there but i finally got this video edited and i'm like it's time for me to drop something something educational all right so from the title of this video you guys can tell from from the title of this video it says a set change and I'm going to tell you guys the difference between a set change full set and a refill all right so right now I'm actually doing a set change for her a set change basically to me is and I feel like these have different um, meanings to everybody that's what I'm saying to me so um, to me basically that means my client already had a set done by me and I'm basically just filing down thinning out her nails the acrylics so that way we could change the set right because her nails are already done she already has a set and we're just changing the set a refill basically is when you re when you're filling in like a fill in a refill and fill that is basically when you are filling in the new growth of the set that she had in right and then we're just basically be doing the same design that's why the prices are like completely different for fill-ins and set changes and full sets full sets are basically we're, we're starting from scratch like she had nothing on she came with her bare nails so hopefully that makes sense because i suck at explaining things but yeah so over here I am just using my Kiara Sky Ifa. If you guys haven't watched that review, I really suggest you guys go watch that review because y'all need to know the details on this Ifa. Like, I give it a 100 out of 10. Right now, I'm just using it at the highest speed, which is 35,000 RPM, and I am just thinning down the nails. And you want to use this at high speed because that way we can create less friction. And it's just it's just a lot faster especially since her nails are longer you don't have all day to waste i basically give myself about two and a half hours to do every day you know and i seriously do not have time to waste so yeah and i while i'm doing this i'm just removing any lifting making sure i'm not touching her natural nails because we are trying to keep them nice and healthy also another tip if you guys have a dust collector i highly recommend you guys use it and if you don't have one I again highly recommend you guys to get one because it will save your lungs like y'all don't even understand the way this stuff be flying in your face oh my gosh you guys how many times I just lost my eyes it's actually insane yeah so really try to invest in a dust collector even a super cheap one on Amazon in the meantime until you can get your hands on a really good one this one I got it from my local beauty supply and honestly I don't recommend it it's not the best but it worked it works so yeah but other than that I've been trying to get myself trying to get my hands on the Valentino one but I don't know we'll see applying the acrylic and um, for this set I'm only using clear and a muddy white color so I actually made the color myself this is um I believe it was glam and glitz ultra white and glam and glitz clear I just kind of made the mixture and I got it to the shade of white that I wanted it to look like and uh, yeah that's really it and I'm not using any crazy technique I'm not using a 1B, 2B, or 3B method. I am just using as many beads as I need. And throughout this video, or the acrylic application part of this video, you'll notice that I use many smaller beads while I'm doing her nails because one thing about this client, she has a higher natural apex. And I don't know if you guys can see that on her thumb, her thumb, that right there is her natural nail. Like I filed down pretty thin. And she just naturally has a higher apex. And like when I tell you guys, because of that, her nails last so long. I think this is her like her third 
set change. This, yeah, this is her third set change. So, and then after this, I think we even cut it down because it was just getting way too long. And it was just a hot mess. But yeah, I mean, as you can see, this is probably like, I don't even know what number bead this is, but it's definitely not three. All right, so I'm just going to let this video run and you guys could watch. When it comes down to the flower part, I'll jump right back in, but for this part, it's pretty straightforward. dry flowers that I had bought but I didn't have one of the shades that she wanted so it was a light blue and a dark blue and I didn't have the dark blue so I was like you know what I got this dark blue sharpie though I'm about to tint some of these so that's what I did I just rubbed a little bit of sharpie over some of them and I rubbed in the and I rubbed in I rubbed it into the dry flower I applied a thin layer of white onto the nail and I just went and I applied the dry flowers while that thin layer of white was still pretty, no not pretty wet, kind of dry on the more tackier side so that we could just stick without sliding all over the place and there was no specific way I did this, I just put it on however I felt looked nice and I just capped it with clear and I did that for the other hand so yeah.
over here we are just filing the nails filing I'm going to have to make like a separate video for this because this part is actually like so keen I hope that's the word to like your sets that's what breaks or make your set well it is one of the parts that break or make your set um one advice I can give you guys is always hold your file at a 90 degree angle actually no not a 90 degree angle one advice I can really give you guys is always have every inch of that nail touching the file so I don't know if you guys could tell from the angle but like the side walls of that file not one bit is not touching the file if that makes sense like every the whole length the entire length of that sidewall is touching the file i don't have it just at the bottom and the tip is like hanging but i'm going to make a separate video about that because this is just so much explaining to do and i want you guys to actually understand because i'm really just thinking of these things on top of my head as i'm watching the video so yeah some Swarovski crystals around the cuticles of the bead plain nails and now I'm just adding some Kiara Sky top coat everything that I use in this video will be in the description box down below and any information about me will be down there as well if you have any questions feel free to leave it down in the comment section below I answer all my questions if I see them um, and yeah stay tuned so you guys can see the final look it came out so pretty and she left it. <laughs> 